Hey guys, we're in the truck. This is a vlog that I'm actually making the day before you're watching it. Reason being, we had some problems with the computer. No, I don't blame him. That's okay. He was the last one to touch it though. I'm sorry. He didn't break it. Uh, but my hard drive sort of went So, I only lost one vlog. And uh, I replaced it with a vlog, something like this, that you'll see tomorrow. So two days in a row, you're going to see vlogs that are a little different than usual. Just me sort of sitting here, doing nothing. The vlog tomorrow is actually, I filmed while I was at home still. And then we get on the road, because I'm already on the road now, as you can tell. Uh, I won't tell you where, because that's a surprise for you. I already told you guys, didn't I? Oh well. Anyways... So, there's no vlog for you guys today. That's just the way it goes. Uh, the computer gave me some problems. And I explained that more in tomorrow's vlog. So, uh, I lost a vlog there. And when I was moving, I missed a couple of days. So, I do apologize that you guys don't really have a vlog to watch today. But, I wanted to film this just to bring you up to speed of why you might not see one today. <laughs> and Diesel, you quitter, you're supposed to be here with me. Jeez, fine, leave me here by myself. But, uh, yeah, pretty much all I was talking about in the vlog that was supposed to go up today was the different kind of wildlife that are around my house that I bought. And it's going to be a little more interesting because where I used to live, yeah, it was a small town, but it was a small town like right outside the big city. Right? So there was no real wildlife. We had a few bunny rabbits hop across my yard a few times and stray cats and the neighbor's dog liked to come and mark my yard to confuse diesel drove them nuts but so the kind of animals that I'm gonna have to deal with around my house are well for one there's wolves uh, and coyotes both uh, I haven't seen these yet but I know that they're in the area my neighbors are talking about them they're pretty much just big savage dogs Pretty much and they keep to themselves mostly but it's a, probably a good idea to not let diesel be running around outside in the dark by himself because they have a pack mentality and they're bullies wolves are bullies and they gang up on the little guy and it's not very nice hey diesel i won't let them gang up on you I won't. even if you don't like the camera whatever and secondly obviously we have black bears in the area uh, them I've dealt with before. I've seen one in my life when I was on the road in British Columbia uh, But they're easy to deal with you just go outside you make a lot of noise clap your hands bang some pots and pans together or something or just Whistle if you don't have any pots and pans with you uh, I usually don't walk out into my backyard with half my kitchen myself, but Whatever, you know you walk out there you let nature know that you're there and they sort of avoid you, right? But for them, you want to make sure that there's no garbage in the backyard left out from a bonfire or anything. You want to make sure anything that they might want to eat stays inside the garage so that they don't eat it and come back for more. I'm all sweaty. It is hot where I am here. Oh, there's a little hint for you. I think I already told you, though, where I'm going, but it is hot here. But sorry. I'm dealing with a little bit of heat. I'm Canadian. I love the heat. Don't get me wrong, it's great. Much better than the cold. Can't complain. So back to the animals. After black bears, uh, the one that I'm a little concerned about are cougars. There are big, giant, angry cats roaming around by my house. Not too many, but uh, my neighbors seen a few wandering around. And they're big, and they're angry. They got sharp teeth, and I don't know what they want. So I'll keep my eyes out for them, because they're fast. But they don't uh, work as in, as in such big a packs as wolves and coyotes, but... There's a fly in here again. Why is there fly? It must be fly season. Is it fly season? Because everywhere I go, tons of flies. I hate flies. They're so annoying. They don't bite or anything, but they'll land on the same spot again. And again, and again, and again. And you shake them off, they'll come back. You shake them off, they'll come back. You shake them off, they'll come back. Me and flies aren't really on good terms. Oh, yeah, I found an empty water bottle. 
Hey, Diesel, you want a bone? No, you can't have that. I thought I bought you a bone. Where'd you, did you finish your bone already? Oh, here it is, right here. Look at this! I gave this to him, like, a couple hours ago. It was a full bone. You're a machine, man. Come here, you gotta come on the camera to get it back. Come here. Come on, come on. You want it back? You gotta be on the camera. Good boy, look. Look at everybody. Look at them, say hi. No, they're in the camera there. They're right there. Look. No, not over there. Over there. He doesn't get it. Here's your bone. Carefully takes it. And then he goes in his corner and just destroys it. So, uh, we did a Walmart haul today, which you will see a week from yesterday, I think. Got a couple of movies that I'm excited to watch. I showed them to you in that vlog, so uh, you'll have to wait in suspense. What movies did he buy? You're going, who cares? Maybe some of you do, I don't know. So, animals around my property are, what did we all say already? I what we said. I know there's bears and cougars, wolves, coyotes, Lots of deer. I'm not really scared of deer. Sort of want to shoot them and eat them. But, uh, I don't got a gun. No, I need a gun. In order to get a gun in Manitoba, I gotta go through this little eight hour course, firearm safety thing. And then I get a license to buy a gun. And then I gotta go to the store and buy an overpriced weapon. And then I gotta buy overpriced ammunition. And then I take them home and I put them together and I have fun. I don't live that far out in the country that I could fire off my property because my neighbors, as you saw in my videos, they're still right there beside me. Sort of like we each got a half an acre or whatever, but there's only like four or five houses in town, right? <laughs> That's what I mean. Is there's sort of just a cluster of people. And they're like, we're just going to build right here in the middle of the bush. Put a post office there and hey, we got a town. So that's sort of the town. Yeah, I was sort of originally looking for more country, right? Like privacy. But I settled on this house because it was a really good price for what they had in there. You guys saw what was in my house. I was really happy with everything in there. I got it for a really good deal. Really good deal. I paid less for it than other houses in the area that had no yard. I had to landscape the yard. And so for this, I paid the same price and I have a landscaped yard, like new appliances, everything. So it was a no brainer for me to buy that house instead of sacrifice the yard. And whatever. I'll build a shop on it eventually. And the yard is big enough. For one guy and a trucker at that, it's going to be lots to take care of. I am sweating like a moose here. Do moose sweat? I don't know. They do. It's hot here. I didn't want to have the truck idling while filming, so I guess I should bring this video to a close. So guys, there's one more video like this tomorrow. I'm going to warn you so that you're not like, what? I was expecting a regular vlog. No, there's another, another one coming. It's, it's a little more edited than this one. This one I'm just going to throw up there on the internet for you. Whatever, no intro, no outro. You guys get it. You're okay with it. It's fine. You understand? I was moving. I lost track of a day. I thought I had all the days accounted for. I even made an extra vlog to make up for one. But for some reason, I still missed a vlog somewhere. I don't know where it went. Diesel, what did you do? Did you eat it? Did you eat my vlog? I don't know, but I'm missing a day. So here's the extra day. And I, it's either this or I have nothing up for you guys. And I figured I might as well at least, you know, troll my face and say hi. So, hi. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video you watched, uh, don't judge it by this channel. <laughs> don't judge this channel by this video, I mean. Uh, I'll put links down below in the description to past videos all the way up to a year ago. You guys can go check out what I've been up to for a year. I have over 700 videos on YouTube right now. There's a whole lot of trucker drivers you can go check out. Just go through my videos there and click on whatever you like. It's the story of my life. I film myself, whatever I happen to be doing that day. I happen to drive a truck, so a lot of my videos contain trucking content, and that is a big part. It's the biggest part of my life, really. Because uh, even all my home time revolves around my job. As a truck driver, it's not really a job, it's a lifestyle. So, yeah, my vlog is around my life and my lifestyle is trucking so whatever whatever you guys get it you guys get it 
But if I go on vacation, I'm still taking you guys. I'm still vlogging a vacation. Like I went to Seattle, I vlogged the whole time there. So it's the story of my life. It's as much for you guys as it is for me. So that one day I can look back and relive the story of my life. Or maybe after I die, my great grandchildren will find them and they'll be like, hey, we can follow his life day by day, sort of like a journal. A video journal. A vlernal. It's a thing. Look it up. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching this video and thank you for being patient, waiting for my regular vlogs to continue. Remember, one more day tomorrow. It is a little bit of a better video. I spent a lot of time editing it. I like the way it turned out. But, uh, yeah. The day after tomorrow is when I'm going to be leaving on the trip that I'm on right now. I think I already told you. I'll tell you again. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, every single day of the week. There is a new video from me, even if it's just a plain little video like this. 4 a.m. Central Time, every day. See you tomorrow.